<laughs> hey there, welcome to Sidewalks, the entertainment project. Raphael Siegel here, and uh, this is very exciting. If you don't know our next guest as the actress who played Barbara Jean on the long-running hit Reba, then you may recognize her from her film debut as hooker number two in the Oscar-winning movie Fargo. This is Melissa Peterman. How you doing, Melissa? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing all right. I got that right. I got that off of Wikipedia. You did make yeah. your film debut as hooker number two. I in wanted Fargo. to be hooker number one. I wanted to be hooker number one, but um, I was number two. But yes, you are correct. You could have been hooker number one, but you had morals, I think. Right, right. <laughs> now, uh, we always get to know the guests here on Sidewalks before we talk about what they're doing, you know, okay. uh, currently. Now, your career has been dominated by comedic roles. You perform uh, comedy live. From yes. whom did you get your comedy interest? Um, like, what entertainers did I love? Or No, no, personally. Um, I mean, was your mom funny? Was your aunt funny? Was your dad funny? Your brother? I mean, who, who personally you know, did you get? No, no one's like that super like laugh out funny people, but they had great senses of humor. So humor was always appreciated at the mm -hmm. house. Um, but there was nobody that was like, you know, Aha! you know, there wasn't <laughs> that person. I think it sort of came from, you know, um, I know you can't tell because I'm sitting, but I'm I'm almost six feet tall. And, you know, it was hard to be that tall in, like, junior high. And you're like, well, I'm not going to be that tiny little petite girl that they <laughs> throw up in the air, so I'm going to be funny. Um, so I think it was sort of – humor was definitely in the household, but it wasn't like – there wasn't one person that was, like, you know, hilarious. For me, it was, like, Carol Burnett, Catherine O'Hara, Saturday Night Live, you know, SCTV. Those were the things that I watched and found that I was like, I want to do that. That's That's – funny. Gilda Radner, um, those were sort of the influences, but no, I sort of was like, oh, if you're funny, you can totally get away with stuff. And that's sort of how uh, I uh, latched on. Now, isn't that amazing that there could be a young girl out there uh, right now who looks at you and says, oh, you know what? I've watched Melissa Peterman. And isn't that wild to think that you are probably in that uh, role as well? Isn't that, isn't that awesome? It's crazy. I mean, I would like to think that, that maybe one person, hopefully two, let's say two. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that is crazy because that would be, that would mean, a, that's huge. You know, that's a huge thing to think that somebody was like, oh, I watched her and I, she made, you know, she made me want to do comedy. That would be a huge honor. Now, you may have answered this question already, but is there a show in the history of television that you uh, know about that you've watched maybe or, or it was before your time and you said, I would be perfect on that show? Um, well, I, I said her name already, but I wanted to be on the Carol Burnett show. Uh. I wanted to be a member of that, that troupe. I mean, I think they were such a great example of they made each other laugh. You could tell they had fun. And they were, they had great writers. It was hilarious. And she's just such a huge idol. I actually, um, Reba, this is a true story. She knew how, she knows how much I love Carol Burnett. Mm -hmm. And so she had dinner. And because you're Reba McIntyre, I guess you can like call Carol and <laughs> she'll come. Um, so she had Carol Burnett come to the house so I could meet her and have dinner. And I was such a wreck like the whole day. I'm like, you know, don't let me drink wine or I'll start to cry the minute I walk in. <laughs> Um, and she, and you know how sometimes it's scary to meet somebody that you idolize, like you're like, oh, please don't, don't be a jerk or right. don't, don't be, don't let me catch you yelling at like, you know, the valet guy or, <laughs> right. you know, you know, you don't want to have your sort of image tarnished. And I met her and she was everything I hoped. She was funny. She was beautiful. She was gracious. And I did tear up a couple times, like during, like, she's like, you know, Melissa, would you like more salad? And I'm like, oh, God, <laughs>